besties so welcome back to my youtube channel i am going to be doing a yard tour today so i'm doing this video on youtube obviously but you guys have been asking me on tiktok instagram like i've had so many messages especially on tiktok asking for a yard tour because i moved yards not that long ago and i did a tiktok about it so everyone was like oh my god yard tour yard tour please <laughs> so i have a riding lesson um soon so I'm, i've just got ready for that and then i'm going to go down to the yard and i'm going to do some content for you guys filming the yard so i'm so excited to show you i also just want to apologize because i've honestly took so long to do this video like people have been asking me for like since we moved um so like a few months now um but i just haven't had time and especially you know because it's winter now obviously the clocks change so it gets darker like so early and obviously with me being at college and stuff we have like a busy life so we normally go down to the yard at like like night time when it's dark so obviously i can't do a yard tour because it's dark <laughs> i'm gonna do this video before it gets dark so yeah so we're literally like two minutes away from the yard and oh my god it is so foggy don't think you'll be able to see on the camera but i'll turn it around and show you in a minute but it's actually it's not dark yet but it is starting to get dark so literally before i tack up i'm gonna like video everything really quick so i can show you the yard tour but yeah let me show you i don't know if you'll be able to see or not Guys, I think you can see how foggy it is. Like, it's literally so foggy. It looks better on there, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's freezing, too. So, guys, this is the horse walker. It is massive. As you can tell, it was freezing today. Look at the frost on the grass. Anyway, it's actually really big. It's a good horse walker. Um, so, yeah. Here's the entrance to the stables that Gucci and Pikachu are in. There's Gucci. And there's little Pikachu, bless him. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Oh, I love him so much. And Gucci. And there's our, like, our little like storage area. Um, so yeah, here are the stables look. <laughs> Here's the outdoor arena, as you can see. It is huge. It's literally massive. And the surface is really nice. It's got big mirrors, as you can see there. It's really nice. Look how foggy it was today. <laughs> so foggy, you literally can't even see. But yeah, look how big the arena is. It's so good. And I'll show you the indoor arena in a minute. So yeah, here's the outdoor arena. That's like a picture of the outdoor arena. Uh, that's where the paddocks are. You can't really see because it's foggy. There's me posing in the mirror. <laughs> I love the mirrors. There's my sister and my mummy lunging Gucci. He was so fresh. There's a little sneak peek of the indoor school. <laughs> and then here's the indoor school. I literally love it. It's got a full set of jumps in, an amazing course. I love it. It's so handy in the winter. Look at that, it's so handy in the winter, honestly. And then, I'm so excited to show you this, it's a massive gallop track, look how big it is. It's a gallop track, it's even got jumps on the outside, um, as you can see here, big ones, small ones. And they've even got a water bit, which I'll show you in a minute. It's just amazing, it's so good. Look at that water bit. I'll post a clip of me in the water, look. <laughs> There's me in the water, Gucci loves the water. Guys, now I'm going to be doing the Q&A. Uh, if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's .yaz.xo because I do things like this on my Instagram. So I posted that, you know, like them question things on my story. I am filming on my phone. That's why I'm doing this on the iPad. Um, I put Q&A for my YouTube and like that box so you guys can um write things and i'm gonna be answering as many questions as i can so i've had so many questions on it like literally there's hundreds like proper spam i'm gonna be answering as many as i can and i'm so excited honestly i don't even think i've done one of these before like i don't think i've ever done a q a before i'm excited myself um how long have you been riding and can we have a yard tour so first of all that has been requested so much the yard tour so obviously i've done one in this video i've been riding for about it's hard because i did it when i was younger like literally toddler um but i stopped and had like a massive break because i didn't really like it i've probably been riding properly for about three years not long at all i mean i've always since i've been little because my mum likes horses i've always kind of been like on and off if you know what i mean um, but yeah, properly like my own horse is loving it for about three years. Um, question two. Don't know which one to answer. This is so many. What do you want to do when you grow up? Basically, people ask me this all the time. Like people ask me at college. Uh, my family asked me. I honestly don't know. Like so helpful. I don't know. 
But I know that I don't want to live in this country when I'm older. Like, honestly, as soon as I'm, like, 17, 18, I do not want to live in this country. I just hate the weather. Like, even in summer, it's not, like, really hot. Do you know what I mean? And, like, just the country in general. I just hate England. Like, I just do. <laughs> I just love, like, I love the heat. Like, honestly, I love the heat. And, you know, like, when you're on a holiday and stuff and, like, people say, like, oh, it's too hot and... I want to be home like that's not me that is not me at all like no matter where i go as long as it's hot i will stay there i will live on the streets in spain if that's what i have to do actually no i won't live on the streets but you know what i mean i don't actually know like what job i want to do though like if i do go abroad well when i do go abroad i don't actually know what i want to do how did you right i'm gonna answer this one how did you lose all your hair can you do a story time this is it obviously an extension basically um if you guys aren't already following my tiktok make sure you do it's yaz.xo well i'm saying follow my tiktok because i did post a story time on there and it's pinned on my tiktok but i'll explain it to you now my skin was getting really bad like really bad and not on my face necessarily like not really on my face so yeah my skin was getting really bad and this was about two three years ago like really bad but not really on my face like on my on my shoulders and like my back but it was so bad it was right it was coming like right down my back and it was actually coming on my arms it was that bad it was awful obviously this was only like two three years ago but if i went out and have like jumpers on and stuff you wouldn't even see me in a t-shirt because obviously t-shirts normally come to about here and my skin was starting to get bad and i didn't want anyone to see like even my really close friends like nobody knew at all and I was getting invited, especially in the summer and stuff, you know, like, I don't know, to go to the lakes with my friends or, like, a hot tub party, swim party, blah, blah, blah. And I wouldn't go. Like, I would not go. And if I did go, I'd wear a T-shirt um, or, like, a long sleeve T-shirt or, like, a hoodie or something in summer. It was so horrible, obviously. This was, like, three years ago, so I was quite young. And it was horrible. Went to the doctors about it. And they, they gave me, like, loads of different tablets and stuff to try. And none of them worked. Like, honestly, none of them were even helping. They sent me over to the hospital. Anyway. So, yeah, they sent me to the hospital. And the hospital put me on really strong, really, really strong tablets. Basically, it cleared all my skin. But they did not tell me my hair was going to fall out. Like, literally, they just did not tell me. But anyway, they didn't tell me. Because apparently, it's like one in like a million. Something stupid like that. Chance that it's going to happen. So, yeah, the tablets made my hair fall out really bad. Um, also, you guys probably know that I'm half Tunisian, so I have massive afro hair, like, honestly, I don't know how long you guys have been following me. My hair was out here, like, afro massive, curly, thick, it's amazing, and I literally lost it all. Well, not all of it, but it was about that, literally that long, I couldn't even fit in a ponytail. When I went to get hair extensions, I couldn't even get hair extensions because the woman told me my hair was too short that she couldn't even do it. It was literally that bad. Anyway, we move... What's the best place you have ever been to on holiday? The best place by far and the best holiday, the best time, everything was Turkey. It was the best holiday I've ever been on. Um, it was amazing. The water park, everything about it was so good. It had like a massive, massive water park in our hotel that we stayed in. It literally had a fair like in our hotel and everything. It was amazing. It was so good. I actually miss it. I miss it. I really do. I feel like I've talked so much already. How did you start your boutique and do you make much money? I do own a boutique if you don't if you guys don't already know. It's called the Royal Boutique. Um you'll probably find it you'll find it on my Instagram and TikTok. So I'm sure you guys know about it. I sell jewellery, I sell I sell like loads of different things on there. Go go check it out guys. So basically, I didn't actually start by having like a boutique. I didn't set up like a business or anything. I started posting some jewelry i remember i started posting some jewelry no it wasn't jewelry actually it was dummies that's how i started basically i had loads of dummies at my house and yeah i had so many dummies like guest dummies and boss dummies and stuff like that so i was like oh i'll sell them so i started putting them on my account and they sold out straight away the tiktok blew up you might have even seen it i did one tiktok and it blew up it got hundreds of thousands of views and they sold out straight away like literally straight away i was like oh my god like what the hell so i got more and more it started off by dummies and then i started selling like um jewelry so necklaces earrings and um, bracelets blah, blah blah and they went mental too like everyone went mad and then i set up like a like a actual website called www.theroyalboutique.com and 
like i've done so well with it like i just can't thank you guys enough if you guys have ever bought anything off me or anything but like, i can't thank you guys enough because i never thought i'd have like a website it'd be like a business like, i never thought i'd get that far but yeah i never thought i'd actually have like a proper business and everything going like orders every day but yeah i'm in that stage right now girl i also said on that and do you make much money i do make quite a lot of money to be fair like because i've had it like quite a long time now and obviously the bigger the account gets the more orders you get the more money you get love that money and honestly i have had orders every single day for months now like every single day i mean that could affect my future because i could make it into like a proper shop but anyway do you and your sister argue no we're like best friends we're like this i'm joking we do get on like we do get on sometimes like very sometimes i mean we get on you know when like family's around or like my friend or like her friend we've got people around and we act we act like besties but really we hate each other and no i'm joking we don't hate each other but we just argue like all the time she's really annoying anyway there's so many questions who are your best famous tiktok or online girl friends oh that's actually a good question so my number one best i don't know why i keep going like this today number one like best friend like online or like long distance best friend is mary bridget mary bridget if you're watching this i love you girl we live so far away from each other but we literally speak like every single day i feel like i feel like we're just we're just besties honestly i love that girl so much i just wish she lived closer because i know we'd like hang out all the time and stuff like that i was actually meant to meet her last not last weekend the week before when i was in london for winter wonderland oh yeah you know when i was at winter wonderland she was meant to come and meet us after that. When I went to Nando's, she was actually meant to come and meet us. But she was at the train station, ready to go, just to like, like literally ready to come and meet us. And the trains um, went on strike. So she couldn't get there to meet us. But anyway, we was actually meant to meet her and I was so gutted. I didn't even know, like my mum was going to surprise me. But she told me when we was in Nando's, obviously when she couldn't get there, she told me. Hold on now. <laughs> Number one bestie. Love you, Mary Bridget. I also speak to Sarah, Sarah Tomlinson, she's my bestie. Is that how you say her last name? I can't actually remember. <laughs> Sarah, she, again, she lives so far away. Um, we text each other quite a lot too. She lives so far away from me though. Like, honestly, we've already talked, we've, we've tried to like arrange to meet each other, but it's just, it's just so far. Like, I'm talking hours. She lives so far away from me. I do like speak to a lot of people online and stuff like that, but they're like my two closest ones. So yeah. Um, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Next, how come you went to college if you weren't 16? Basically, I am from Nottingham. I live near Nottingham and I left school because I hated school. Honestly, I, I did not get on like with school at all. I feel like school is for some people and it's just not for other people. It's not for me. I've never really enjoyed secondary school. I just didn't really like it at all. Well, no, not I didn't really like it. I bloody hated it. But anyway, I hated it. It just wasn't for me at all. Like literally not like everything about it just wasn't for me. One of my mum's friends um, was she was speaking to actually said so she lives like really far away and she said something about her daughter going to like a, a pre-16 course at college i was like what like, i didn't even know that was a thing i'm sure most of you guys didn't because i don't think it's like a really big popular thing but anyway like a pre-16 course and you have to be well you have to be in year eight to start um so like 13 14 but yeah so my mum there's only like a few in the country i think that do it and my mum looked around um and the closest one i'm not going to say it, which exact one it was but it's one near nottingham so i started that in september i only started in september i'm absolutely loving it i'm not even gonna lie i absolutely love it it's so much better than school like, my mental health and everything is just so much better and i only go to college four days a week and some of the days are even half days uh, it's obviously non-uniform you don't have to wear uniform or anything i mean it's just really good and i've met so many new friends and stuff there i love it do you and amir share clothes and makeup and stuff she wears all my clothes and i get so annoyed with her i honestly get so annoyed with her i'm like mm -mm, put that top back in my wardrobe now before i knock you out I'm joking i don't knock her out anyway <laughs> youtube don't take this down for violence anyway we share makeup because 
we have like a makeup drawer and everyone's makeup goes in there so we we share makeup but i don't really use makeup and neither does she unless we go like going out somewhere like a party or something but yeah will you be at top fest yes i will top fest is in march and i will be there so make sure you guys get tickets and make sure you guys come to top fest so you guys can meet me it's in march i'm so excited i literally can't wait to meet you guys i'm literally buzzing do you have a boyfriend and if no what's your type no i don't have a boyfriend and what's my type i did used to have a type but now i feel like if if a boy comes and i think oh my god you're so fit like like he's fit but i don't actually have like a particular type one thing i will say i don't like blondes if you're blonde like, like i'm not saying like you're ugly like most brunettes i'm like boys i'm like mm, yeah mm -hmm. i love a bit of you I do have a little bit of a type though, like brunette, tanned, like a tanned dark boy, um, tall, because I'm five foot seven, so I'm not gonna go out with a with a little toddler. Mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really have a type. I feel like if you fit, you fit. Like if I'm staring at you, thinking you're really fit, you're really fit. Oh yeah, also I don't like younger boys. Mm -mm. I will never, you'll honestly never see me go for a younger boy because that's just not me. One or two years older. Mm hmm. What's it like being famous when you're so young? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute because I don't think I'm famous. Like, I'm not famous. I'm not famous at all. I think they mean like following, like having a following. I absolutely love it. And like when I meet you guys in public, like I, I've been to nuts quite a few times recently shopping and stuff. And like I've met so many of you guys. Um, I went to London and I met like quite a few of you. I love meeting you guys. I've done YouTube since I was really little. Like I'm talking primary school little. Um, but I've always dreamed of like being famous. I know I'm not famous yet, but I've always dreamed of like having not fans. I don't want to be like big headed. Like oh my god, fans. I've met you guys in public. I've I've had messages saying oh like I wish I could meet you and stuff like that. And I just really love having like a following that like. I know that you guys look up to me, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm famous and I've got fans. But I've got, like, a big following on, like, as TikTok especially. And I love it so much. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for supporting me. Because this has been my dream since I was little. And, obviously, I'll keep going until I get famous. It's literally been my dream since I was little. How do you deal with online hate and trolling online? No matter what you do, people always give you hate. And that's one lesson I've learned. Like, literally, don't do something... Don't change for someone else because you're going to get haters either way. Most of you guys will know um, I get hate all the time. Like, example, if I post, I don't know, like an outfit and it doesn't go, like the colours don't go, people are going to hate. And stuff like this is sad, really, because so many people hate on, like, looks and stuff like that. I get so much hate on my videos. Like, honestly, I get so, so much hate. But people are going to hate no matter what you do. So I just kind of think, like, just move on, like, literally just ignore them. But I just think, like, people are going to hate either way. So, like, like just do whatever you want to do. Don't even give the haters attention because that is exactly what they want. And half of them online and stuff are fake accounts and stuff. And they wouldn't say it to your face. So, I just think, mm -mm, screw you, block. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, my God, that is hard. I love heat. So, it definitely would be somewhere where it's warm. I love Dubai. Like, I've never been there, but it looks so pretty. And, like, the buildings and stuff looks really good. But then it's really strict. I know it's a very strict country, so I don't think I'd want to live there. But, um, you know, like, um, the Bahamas and stuff like that, that I've never been there, but it looks so pretty. And, like, swimming with the pigs and stuff. That looks so good. You know what? I've never been to America, but I would... I think I'd love to live in America because... The lifestyle out there just looks so good. And I love American accents. <laughs> just think it looks so nice in America. I've never been. I don't know where I'd want to live, to be fair. That's not a question that, like, I know. I like Australia. I've never, Again, I've never been. But it looks so good. And I've got quite a lot of family out there, too. So I feel like that would be nice. There's so many. I don't know which one. Um, oh, what's your favourite makeup product to use? can't really answer that because i don't really use makeup i mean i use mascara and lip gloss that's it and the mascara that i use every day is from primark this is the mascara it's from primark but yeah i'm not one of them girls that like gets up every single day and does your makeup every single day you know like foundation like contour highlighter but like, i never put makeup on unless i'm going out to like a party or something then i wear like a full face of makeup but apart from that i'm not really like a makeup girl i'm not saying i'm pretty naturally but i just can't be arsed with it like 
I can't be asked to put makeup on every day and take it off at night time. Mm -mm, that's too much effort. Who's in your family, including your pets? I have my mom. Love you, mom. Mom was my favourite person ever. Anyway, I have my big brother, who's 19, nearly 20, 20 in February. I have my little sister, Amira. I have me, the icon of the family. I have my baby brother, who's two. He is three in July. I have my two dogs, Betty and Reggie. They're pugs, bless them. <laughs> yeah, I have horses, but they don't live at the house. They live at the yard, obviously. I have Pikachu, who's two, and I have Gucci, who's 13. What advice would you give to your younger self? First of all, just like, if you want something, make sure you keep going until you get it. Because, example, me on YouTube now, I've been doing YouTube for so many years now, since I was in primary school, and TikTok and, like, uh, Instagram. I've had social media for so long, and I've never thought I'd get, like, like big, if that's what you, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm so famous now, because I'm not famous at all. But I never thought I'd have a big following, especially on TikTok, like I do now. Like, I've nearly got 80,000 followers on TikTok, and I never thought I would get that big. I did used to have an account that had 20,000, got banned, 10,000, also got banned. And I was getting so upset about it, and I was like, no, I'm never going to get even like 10,000 followers again. Now I'm here with nearly 80,000 followers and I never thought I'd be here right now. I've got invited to go modeling. I've got invited to work with brands and companies. I've been gifted things and I never thought I'd get like this big where I am now. And honestly, like it's just a dream. Like I'm just living my dream right now. Hopefully I get bigger and I get like really famous because that is my proper dream. But I will keep going. But yeah, my advice to my younger self is just keep going. Because I never, ever thought for one second I would have 80,000 followers on TikTok. Here I am with 80,000 followers on TikTok. Fave TikTok sounds slash trend at the moment. I feel like with TikTok, there's new trends like every single week. And new sounds all the time. I don't really have one at the minute. You know that sound? And it's like a little context if you care to listen. That, right, I love that sound and that song. Also, you know that trend like that, flipping like a flipper girl, that one, like. <laughs> I like that one, but I don't actually know the trend, but I really like the sound and I like the trend, but I just can't be asked to learn the dance. I don't know if you guys have heard of that sound, like, I'm just gonna marry a rich man and I'm just gonna have his credit card, go off, get my nails done on my hair. That's just all I want out of life. I love that sound. That was a trend like months ago and it's still my favorite. What's your next YouTube video going to be? I don't actually know. I did post a TikTok earlier, speaking of that question, asking what videos you guys want to see. Comment down below on this video what video you guys want to see, and I will do it. Um, this is the last question I'm going to do because the time is going on for ages, and I talk too much, so, yeah. Do you smoke or vape? No, I do not vape, and I definitely do not smoke. Mm-mm. I am a young girl. I don't smoke. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. It's yaz.xl. No, because tell me why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Anyway, follow me on Instagram. It's dot yaz dot xl. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And make sure you turn the notification bell on. <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I get that? Turn the notification bell on. Because then every single time I post a video, you'll get notified. So make sure you guys spam the comments right now with what videos you guys want to see. Because I don't know and I want you guys to let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all. Bye guys. Mwah.